to ask you what I think is pretty important about your work, that if you've got phases like this, which are determined technologically, uh, one can not only speak about the kind of, uh, of the state of affairs we now have, one can also, to some degree, do some prediction. And I think in understanding media, you sometimes write as if we got on, if we pushed on deeper into electric uh, technology than we actually have. Uh, but you do venture some predictions about the kind of life, the kind of quality of feeling that we're going to have with the new alteration in our senses. Could you say something about that? Well. I, I remember when I was here two years ago, after a long absence, I was quite startled at the uh, upsurge of regional dialects in England uh, as compared with uh, 20 years earlier. And uh, the relative decline of standard uh, and uh, homogeneous English and the quite uh, uh, proud uh, display of uh, dialects that I had hardly heard before when I lived here. This. Uh, a uh, drive in depth toward re a regional depth of culture is a normal feature of electronic forms because of this circuitry that involves us deeper and deeper in ourselves. The, the French separatists, for example, at the present time in Quebec, are very much related to this new image they have of themselves in television, a depth image. The vision of the future that uh, your book could leave one with is uh, one in which, uh, a big brother image, in a sense. You speak of of, for example, uh, programming uh, cultures. Pro for instance, you say that if the South African uh, scene looks like getting too hot because of an overdose of radio, we program a lot of television, cool them off. Uh, this kind of interference with uh, uh, what the typographical literate man calls uh, we human have, rights. We uh, have never stopped interfering drastically with ourselves by every technology we could latch on to. Mm. We have uh, absolutely disrupted and you think this might lie uh, over and over again lead us into a kind of electric totalitarianism no, I think uh, no I think the uh, uh, logic un, un, if unimpeded the logic of this sort of electric world is stasis yes oh, and uh, out, uh, out of this I'm, 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 oh, forgive me for interrupting again. Yes. I was asking, where, where do you see uh, is there a terminus or should we always go from the thesis of typography to the hmm. I think if there is a logic, and a hopeful one, that appears in this, it is the dispelling of all unconscious aspects of our lives altogether, that we, uh, in order to live with ourselves in such depth, in such instant uh, uh, feedback situations, we have to understand everything, so that our, our easygoing, uh, lying, uh, lolling about in the lap of the unconscious cannot endure. Uh, that we will have to take over the total human environment as an artifact. But it seems to be forced upon us. The, uh, the need to become completely autonomous and aware of all the consequences of everything we're doing before the consequences occur is where we're heading.